morning. Quiet night in the tent last night. There was a few people about up to the sort of 3am activities you might imagine would be happening around here. Um, the night before last, my campsite viewed east and I absolutely saw some kind of like, not even very faint orange explosions um, over the horizon. But last night, the view to the east was mercifully blocked. The plan today is to continue around the coast to the east as far as the demarcation zone or demilitarized zone or whatever it's called here. There's a church that may or may not be possible to be visited inside that zone. Good morning gang. How are we all today? very British looking sunburns here and I'm hearing a lot of North English accents and either Ukrainian or Russian or both I can't tell the difference and I've seen at least one Jewish family as well so quite the variety of people here but overwhelmingly the accents are North English. Wow, look at these colours. Yellow, pink, purple, blue, orange, more pink. Amazing. It's already the middle of the afternoon and I'm very far short of where I plan to be at this point of the day. Well, that's okay, I'll just camp earlier than expected and um, this is too lovely to pass up. Oh, fishes in the shallows. <laughs> I'm interested to see how far I can get up this way along the coast. That's it, the road just stops here, there's no barrier and the military zone starts 100 metres away according to my map and it's a kilometre deep here but these houses are right next to the demilitarised zone which as we've learned is no joke. This is all the demarcation zone and that is Turkish occupied Cyprus I think is what I should be calling it. I can make out the little church down here 
um, there, half a kilometre away, but I've bottled it, so I'm gonna head back to the road. Again, like when I arrived in Israel and Palestine, I don't know yet what the correct terminology is regarding uh, the demarcation zone, the Turkish zone. I don't know if I should be saying the word occupied or what, so uh, please bear with me while I work out the correct terminology. This all felt a bit hand painted by the cafe opposite. This camera isn't good enough, but it feels a lot like the DMZ in between the two careers. There, there's the Turkish and Greek flags. So that's the border or crossing or checkpoint or whatever it's called. Um, I don't know much about it except to say that Cyprus do not recognise it as a border. I was planning to camp on this salt lake. Oops! This street looks very vacant. Searching for another way down to the salt lake, I came across this curious neighbourhood. This one's wide open. Same dinner as yesterday, if a little bit more melted. And with the addition of this Cypriot dessert, natural Cyprus pastelli. I'm sat on the stairs because it's one of the cleaner spots and um, just a bit of light. Um, I love days like this when I don't have to properly unpack or pitch the tent. What a result. Cheers. <laughs>